this video, we are going to create a small PHP application that combines multiple PDF files into one file. With that said, here's a demonstration of what we're going to be building. As you can see, there are two PDF files already in place. One contains an image, while the other contains pure text. Clicking the merge button will combine the two PDF files into a new generated file. If I uncheck the compress image quality option and then click the merge button again, another generated file will be created. Both generated files are basically the same. The only difference is the image quality. Also, there's a big difference regarding the file size. And that's basically it. Let's start with the directory that contains the PDF files that we are going to combine. Next, let's create a config file and inside it define two constants that points to the path and URL of the project root directory. Then another set of constants that points to the path and URL of the files directory and output directory, which will be created in a second. Then define a variable that will contain an array of PDF files that are fetched from the files directory using the PHP globe function. Now let's create the index file and pull bootstrap and bootstrap icons via CDN to save time. Then create a container div and inside it create a form element. Inside the form element create an unordered list and each list item will have its own download link. Afterwards create a checkbox option that's checked by default and then create a submit button. Also, let's create an external style sheet for some minor styling tweaks. Now let's see it in the browser. Let's modify our markup and make it dynamic. We'll add the config file we created earlier so that we can have access to the constants we defined. Then inside the unordered list, we look through the files directory and for each list item, we only need the file name and not the file path. Let's see it in the browser again. Also, we will create a variable that will reference the files inside the output directory and then append it to the existing list. Now, for each item in the list, we'll determine the directory of the current list item and update its download link accordingly. Before we move on, let's move the output files variable to the config file. Finally, let's create a file that will contain the merging logic that should only execute if the submit button was clicked. Then let's check if the compress image quality option was checked or not. If it is, we'll create a variable that references the compressed PDF file that will be generated and another variable that will contain the go script command. If not, we'll create the same variable but references the high resolution PDF that will be generated instead and another same variable that will contain the same ghost script command but with additional parameters. I provided an article in the video description below on how to use ghost script including the different switches and parameters. Now let's go through each file and then concatenate it to the variable that contains the ghost script command. Then execute the ghost script command using the shell exec php function and redirect back. Also, don't forget to include the new file in the index file. Now let's see it in the browser for the final time to see if it's working as expected. The source code for this video is available in the video description below. Thanks for watching and if you like this video, consider subscribing for more quick web development tips and tricks.